Hey everyone, so I am standing in front of the famous SBG Ireland, one of the best MMA gyms in the world. It's a place of some of the most famous fighters, UFC fighters, Bellator fighters, and obviously the legendary coach, John Kavanaugh. Now, as some of you know, I've been training here for the past uh, three months. I train in the regular classes, I train in the pro classes, and actually today is Sunday. Today is the last day before I leave. So I decided that I will show you a little bit around the gym and uh, yeah, just introduce you to how life is going at SBG Ireland. So if you're ready for this martial arts journey, let's get going. So now the gym is pretty empty because it's uh, Sunday afternoon. Right now I'm standing in the cage, which is actually the size of an actual octagon. Now, if you look uh, behind me there, this is where I trained in the pro session and most of the jiu-jitsu sessions. There's the second floor as well, but I'm not gonna show too much around because uh, even coach John Cowan himself, he has not yet done an official video, at least while I'm recording, of him giving a tour of the gym. So I'm not gonna get ahead of him. This is all I'm gonna show you now. But anyway, what's happening now, one of the great things about SBG Ireland is that you have a lot of really high level, experienced people training here and also coaching. And today I am meeting with one of my training partners, Jay. We're gonna meet up and Jay is gonna do some pads with me. And then we're gonna talk about martial arts and life. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So a couple of hours more and do some training. Doing the pads is, yeah, is an art in itself. it is. Like me personally, I got, I got like, if I don't get on with the person or if I don't gel with the person, right? I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it'll work. When I actually first asked the whole pads for Brad, I said it to one of the coaches. I was like, if we don't get on, I'm just not gonna hold pads for him. Yeah. Like, I think that's part of man holding pads. I think you gotta get on with who you're holding pads for. And all the times I remember watching some fighter, some coach, holding the pads and hitting the pads if it's if it really looks good they're getting all you, you can see like it's a it's like a good chemistry right well, exactly you're okay yeah too much sugar not enough yeah maybe not <laughs> yeah just go ahead no, I'll be all right. no 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 go for it i'll, I'll wait be, for you i'll be losing them <laughs> are you sure you'll be like you'll be energetic and you'll be good on camera <laughs> yeah yeah actually to tell you a secret no well, it's not a secret but i never actually said it on the record Especially when I do vlogs, 90% of the time I, I aim to drink like a coffee before. Yeah, so you're full of energy. Yeah, it makes a difference yeah. because when, when you're working on camera, especially like if I'm with another person, there's kind of the conversation energizes, so mm. it's a bit different. But if I'm yeah, on my yeah, own yeah. speaking to the camera, there's nothing that energizes you much unless it's a subject you're like really yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, interested you really in. Yeah, you really want to talk right. about it. Yeah, what it was, yeah. So like a cup of coffee, because the audience doesn't want to look at you like, Sneaky. Okay, I'll Quiet. talk to you today. <laughs> yeah. I had like a few MMA fights when I was about 18 or 19, but there wasn't like a massive opportunity then. There wasn't like a massive gym like like what John Kavanagh sure. has now. Like yeah, yeah. back then, there was nothing there. Like do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. There was just uh, myself, maybe six other people training in a in a school hall. You know what I mean? We just train on a Monday night, and then if we can, we train on a Saturday, and that was it. And we were taking fights, and we weren't even really training for them. Yeah, I've had like about, I think maybe 11 or 12 fights. I've had more losses than I've had wins. Like, I trained hard for every fight, but backstage, I'm more than likely beat myself up before I even got into the ring mentally. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, what am I doing here? I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm just sweating backstage. But again, all them fights, I think have made me more confident now. I think I had to go through all that to get confident. I think I'm better mentally now than I ever was. Like, yeah, 100%. But I think that's from training with, with SBG. That's from yeah. training in that gym. Do you know what I mean? I you're, know you're, what you mean. You're around all that. Like, you're around all these guys. They're just so confident. And they have good reason to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're good athletes. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I think just working with them and hanging around with them, it's just, I, I feel more confident, yeah. Are you Southpaw or Orthodox? Orthodox. Yes. <laughs> yeah. so let's like, just start off with a left hook first. There you go. And then a cross after that. There you go. Okay, so we'll stand the right arm out further. Better, 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 better. Yeah, don't stay out there. Don't like land it and go, oh, that was amazing. Stay, yeah? 
long, long. There you go. Reach the pad, okay? I'm not gonna meet you. That's what we were talking about in the car was yeah. a lot of pad men, they will meet you like mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And then you're just not getting, you're not getting that full extension like. Nice. Double left hook, go, go. Double left hook. Move, 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 move. Come on, watch your footwork. Come on. Oh, boom. Take a rest, man. The very last thing, if I could ask, yeah, just to take a look, my right roundhouse kick. Yeah, let's do it. People were upset about my kicks in my first fight, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's strong. It's not that. No, that's okay. strong. So it's just that first kick where I come up on my my front toe, mm. and then the one I really like is I stay squatted, and I stay squatted on my front leg, and I train it. You feel the difference? Yeah, yeah. Say squat it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Do you feel it? I think so, yeah. Different technique, yeah. So my training with Jay just ended. It's really fun. As you can see, I'm trying out this new format. Actually, Jay suggested it is to, to make it more dynamic, to, to travel, you know, get coffee together. And, and the, the chat was really good. It was really organic, really nice. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see the full version, as you saw there, you know, links and everything. So you could watch it there. I was quite happy about the pad session, uh, besides the fact that Jay is an awesome pad holder. Also too, I didn't suck as bad as I thought I will. And also, and as you saw, I did that kick and the kick wasn't terrible. I thought maybe, you know, one of the parts is why a lot of people criticize my kicks in my first amateur fight. And I'm thinking probably that's because I was using it more as a bait. I also had shin pads, so I, didn't, I, I thought like, I'm not gonna do much damage with it anyway. But also too, I can't say they were good. I, I didn't invest as much time and effort as I could in the kicks. I did work on them significantly more after the fight and it seems like the results are in. Obviously it's not awesome yet, but it's getting better. I'm happy about that. Uh, but this is it for today and tomorrow is my last day at SBG Ireland where coach John Kavanaugh is going to teach the pro session which I'm going to join and hopefully film if everything goes right so you'll see a bit of that as well. So I'll meet you tomorrow. Original kind of, I don't know, guy I looked up to in the sport was GSP, and I traveled to right. Canada when I was very young nice. to go train with him and stuff. I was about Three 20 years I did, I got to go train with him for a while. Anyway, so my name didn't really stick. So when we came back to Ireland, John Michael Shield, JMS, but when we, when we came back oh, to- because there was GSP here. Yeah, yeah, and they wanted to just call me Irish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JMS, and Irish, so. Right. When I came back, I called Ian Dean uh, from Cage Warriors. He found it too hard to say my name. Oh. So he kept saying JMS, and from this point, nice. so, Nice. I love it just because pasta and chicken and it's probably not very healthy for us but sometimes after sparring you just want to eat good you know but then the thing is just give yourself carbs Peter's never really out of shape and Connor's never really out of shape but some people fluctuate but I find what stops me fluctuating is always train three times a day always no matter what get up and stuff and then um, eat good to fuel your workout eat good to recover so then you never go too far wrong in the past i had the mindset like i have to do it perfect you know, i have to eat the right stuff and 
like just know everything. But then uh, I he hear stories about these guys, and there's one particular story. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard about Bill Superfit Wallace. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I actually yeah. met him. When I spoke to him, he he told that everything he ate all the time it was burgers, French fries, and ice cream, and that was it. Like all the time, and he never lost a fight. And my mind is blowing up because I'm like, I thought if you want to win, you have to do everything perfect. Yeah. But it seems like it's not all about that. So, I just left the gym, lost part of my footage. It sucks when that happens, you have to say the same thing again. It was a bit sad to leave the place, you know, I, had, I said my goodbyes and I spent quite a few months there. So yeah, there is a bit of emotion there, but also too, I'm very excited to go back home. I do need a breather, I do need to take a bit of a break, do some regular training, train with people on my own level at least for a bit. So I'm excited for that and then also to plan uh, my next big trips, next big journeys, uh, which is gonna be awesome. And yeah, I think one of the things I did realize, I'm not there yet to train with guys at that level who have trained literally three to 10 times, if not even more than I did. Oh look, people are thinking it's Christmas already. Anyway, I still need to do some regular training, train with guys with my level, and then I'm planning to go back to SBG Ireland and hopefully pose a challenge to those guys. So it's still gonna happen next time. But until then, we still have some work to do, traveling, it's gonna be a blast. So as always, thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for staying for this whole video. That's impressive. And as always, I wish you to question the hell out of yourself.